video is going to be all over the place, but For those of you who don't know me, my name is Alyssa, I'm 19 years old, and this is kind of a video to start off my YouTube channel for my fitness posts and workout videos and stuff, so I thought what better way to start off my channel by kind of opening up and talking about myself. So this is what this video is going to be about. When you're on your journey throughout life and trying to become successful, it's expected that there are going to be obstacles that get in your way and people who knock you down. All you have to do is get up, brush yourself off, and you're good, right? For some of us, that's not the case. Some of us struggle with and fight a disease every single day. It's something everyone knows about, but few people talk about. We are overlooked by people that don't understand what we face every day. But I'm making this video for those of you who struggle with the same thing and to help those who don't know about it understand things more. Before I get into it, I just wanted to say that no way am I making this video for attention or sympathy from anyone. It's strictly to open up and be honest with you guys, so that others who suffer from the same thing know that they aren't alone and that there is hope. So if you want to hear my story about dealing with depression, keep watching. Okay, this part isn't going to be scripted because I kind of wanted it to come from the heart, so this is just going to be me talking to you guys. So it was kind of hard to bring myself to just sitting down here and talking because I know there's going to be a lot of judgmental people and a lot of my family and friends are probably going to be watching this and some of them know a little bit about it, but this is just me, you know, just speaking my mind and everything that's been going on. So I was raised in private school my whole life. Just kidding, not my whole life. <laughs> private school up until fifth grade and then I started middle school at a public school. Um, that's kind of when everything changed for me. I didn't really think there were so many things that could be looked at as flaws in a person like I only thought oh I need to brush my hair or um, my breath smells. I didn't know that my face could look weird, I could be too skinny and you know, all those things that people said to me. I got bullied in sixth grade. I went to counselors every single day and the therapist at school and I never knew why people just didn't like me. I remember this one group of boys that bullied me every single day and one boy in particular um, called me anorexic and I live in Florida where it's pretty hot at the beginning of a semester so um, once people start telling you things day after day you start to believe them so I wore long sleeves and jeans every single day I didn't want people to know what was under those clothes and what I looked like because they thought I was too skinny and I was anorexic. I remember going to class one day and there was this kid who came up to me at the end of class and he said, your nose is too big and your face just looks weird and um, it, you know, it hurts being told that, but it wasn't just once, it was day after day after day. I used to go to the bathroom every single day after each period and I'd bring a whole makeup bag with me to school and I would put makeup all over my face and just cover it and cover it. I mean, I love makeup now, but when you're in sixth grade, you shouldn't be, you know, caking your face just because you don't want people to see what you look like underneath of it. Things just got worse that year and I came home crying to my mom every single day. I switched schools in seventh grade. I went back to a private school and uh, things didn't get much better. I wasn't liked there, you know. I was always like a shy girl. I'm still pretty shy, but people just take that in the wrong way nowadays. And um, luckily I had a one girl there who just stuck by my side and she was there for me so she got me through the year. 
But then at the end of seventh grade, I really wanted to go back to public school because I was like, you know, I'm going to be at the top of the class. Like, it's, it's going to be a fine year. I don't need to stay in private school if I don't like it. I could go back to where I started. I got through eighth grade. It wasn't that bad. I stayed strong and I didn't let the things that people said um, affect me in any way. I was so excited to start high school. Um, I was going to a brand new school, just a fresh start, and oh. freshman year. My brother was, or my brother's two years older than me, so he, he was already in high school and he loved it there, and I was just looking forward to it. Um, freshman year, and I was, it was a great year for me. I was pretty popular. I was in the leadership class, I was like vice president of the school, vice president of the freshman class. And, um, yeah, I had a lot of friends and things were great and I was a really good Christian girl. I went to church every week and people knew me for, you know, posting Bible verses all the time and just being inspirational and motivating people. So the next year comes as a sophomore and I wanted to experiment a little bit. I kind of made a few different friends and... Not all of them were in the good group. I started drinking and, you know, hiding that from my parents and going out and stuff. So yeah, high school was going pretty great for me until, you know, that happened. I just started doing things that a lot of high schoolers do and I got out of it, found my way back. I met this guy. We became best friends. We clicked like that. He ended up dating and... We were together for over a year, and unfortunately, I was a senior at the time of, like, the end of our relationship, and he was a junior, so I was going to be going off to college, and, you know, it was, it was rough. It was a rough time. By the end of senior year, I didn't get accepted into the one college that